good morning everybody welcome back to umrv uh we're actually up we're gonna head down and uh see what we can get equipment wise and i don't know why my trees are flickering well hopefully that goes away might just be my shaders i might have to clear my cache or something anyway uh yeah it's bright and early uh about nine maybe ten o'clock um got some stuff done around the uh the farm earlier this morning settling in and now we are like i said we're gonna head down to the store uh i want to start looking for some equipment uh especially since uh we have some crop on the fields ready to harvest Ooh. uh that needs to you know either way we either need to lease something or we need to buy something uh because i don't want that stuff to go bad whoa 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 oh boy Yeah, this is kind of uh sketchy this whole area it's the only downfall of this farm but the price was too good to pass up on That's crazy. I don't know what's causing that guys. I apologize for the flickering trees Try not to look at it here All right, here we are Smith John Deere Now I saw an ad on their Facebook page. Or no, it was on their uh their website. And yeah, there it is. Well, let's see. So they had this package deal. I guess this is used. It's a TR-88. Nice looking New Holland. Good shape. But it's this. Where's, uh, is that them back there? Yeah, I think those are the headers back there. Let's look. It was a grain header, a corn header, and the two trailers they had as a package deal for, I think the retail on it was 106. Yeah, that's them there. I don't want to go back here. I don't see anybody around. Uh, but yeah, let's go. 
Let's see. Hello? Oh, he's over there in the office. Okay. Uh, guys, I'll be right back. So I talked to the gentleman inside. He told me to come out, take a look at these. Uh, his name's George. Uh, he's the sales manager here at uh, Smith John Deere. Um, it's it's not a bad deal, honestly. He's got this New Holland. It was a trade in. Uh, he's offering both heads, both trailers, and the harvester for ninety six thousand uh, dollars. It's a discount of ten grand over MSRP. So uh, I think we're actually going to do it. Um, I'm asking him about a trailer as well. I want to see if I can't buy one of these J and M's here. Um, because we're going to need something. So I'm waiting to, uh, to hear back on that. So I will, uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I know more. All right, it's a done deal guys. Uh, not only that, he actually was able to get me a grain cart too. It's an older model, but really good shape. Uh, and he's going to deliver the harvester for us. Uh, so we'll have to tow the heads back. So I'm actually going to grab my truck and, uh, I guess we'll take the grain cart up first and then come back for the head. Hopefully he'll have the, the harvester loaded up by then. Either way, I'm making three trips. We'll go get this up there, get it back home. Might actually ask him about one of these John Deere's out here too. I don't have a lot of money left, but with harvest, we'll have a little bit coming in. I, I don't know what's going on with the trees. It was not like this last episode. All right, we're going to get these trips knocked out. I will, uh, I'll pick you guys back up once they have everything loaded and, uh, we're coming over with the harvester. All right. See you in a bit. All right, looks like the uh, tractor trailer just got up here. Uh, he also brought the John Deere that I ordered, which I'm surprised he was able to get them both in here. Uh, this is actually a small tractor uh, meant just, you know, we needed an extra tractor on the farm and it was a deal. It's old, but it's an old 5020. I was surprised it, I haven't seen one of these in, in years. Go we'll park this.
All right, leave that there. <clears throat> It'll be nice just to pull a grain cart or, you know, little stuff around the farm. I think the uh, 1588 is still going to be our main or 1586. All right, TR-88. Yeah, I guess the uh, the tractor trailer driver was saying he uh, he almost got stuck like four times climbing up the hill. He said he won't deliver anything up here anymore. He's going to make me come down to the road, <laughs> which I, you know, I honestly don't blame him. It's a it's a pretty gnarly pathway up here. I'm going to actually park this over here. I think if it'll fit. We got our harvester. We got a new tractor. Uh, I'm going to uh, disconnect trailer. I'm going to head down and uh, pick up the heads and get them back up here. And we'll, we'll pick you guys right back up. All right. We got the grain header. We're going to be heading back up. Guys, make sure you drop that like, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new uh, UMRV series. Uh, it's been a little bit of a rough episode for this one, but I'm still holding out hope. Uh, I know this series will be a, uh, a phenomenal thing once we get started. And I'm, I'm going to jump the equipment ahead a little bit just because I don't want to prolong this. <laughs> and we just lost our head. That literally would happen to me. Honest to God, that would happen to me. Okay. Well, well we got it back up here. Uh, we're heading back down for the corn header. And uh, who knows? We might even get started on one of these fields. But I'll pick you guys back up uh, as soon as we have the header back up here just because I have to focus on the road with how uh, crazy this road is all right see you in a bit all right we're all hooked up we're ready to go it's all strapped down get this thing back home It's definitely rough terrain. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can get like the road department to come and pave that road or I might have to actually upgrade my truck. got our headers taken care of uh tractors up here we have the grain bin i guess for now let's uh let's 
park up. Pull over here in the weeds. Let's grab the harvester. Making progress, slowly but steadily. think about that oh man she's heavy you can get some weight in the back all right let's see Let's get our first little bit of a uh, harvest. I think this is done. Growing. Okay. Not ready yet. What is ready? I thought I had something ready. Growing. Oh, all right. 55 is ready. Which is, oh, okay. I'm just on the wrong field. That's my bad. All right, let's do it.
All right, we're over here in the 5020. We're actually gonna go up and uh, help our worker out. Glenn, I believe his name is. Okay. <laughs> That's... I got nothing. back up since I can't seem to uh, be able to ride with him and gather um, yeah I, I got some stuff I have to figure out uh, I appreciate you guys patience this JM wagon is a new mod as well as this 5020 so um, gotta fine tune it basically the, the series is especially with this not quite being a full-blown roleplay series um we're gonna tweak some stuff around and i may just there may be some changes next episode just so you all are aware all right um yeah let's let him do his thing and we will pick you guys back up in just a little bit all right we're offloading another one uh glenn had to go so i'm just gonna run the rest of this myself and uh we'll probably just leave the tractor here and just scoop and uh work our way back around Like I said, without the auger, uh, we're only going to be able to fill this trailer up, and then that's that. So. Maybe one more.
right looking like we're all full let's go take this up and dump this off so you're going to notice a few changes made to uh the silos and i changed a few things up with the fencing and whatnot um just being you know forthright with you guys i was thinking about scrapping this episode ultimately i decided against it um i made a few changes to the mods and to uh things that i thought were not working properly and things i wanted to fix before the series really took off uh i made those changes and uh this is the outcome of those so i appreciate your patience i appreciate your understanding uh it's something that i had to do otherwise i was going to end up scrapping this episode altogether and re-recording it at a point to where it wouldn't have made sense with the original crooked creek storyline uh and i didn't want to do that so this may not be the best episode i appreciate your understanding the next one should have everything sorted uh it's just this episode um prior to this point has really given me a lot of trouble so appreciate it uh and again just thank you for your understanding on it it's offloaded Couple passes left. That's really, really finicky. May have to get a new green card as well. All right, y'all, we're going to get this wrapped up and uh, I'll pick you right back up. All right, we all finished uh, harvesting. Going to hop out of here. We just offloaded everything. Jump in the old 5020. Got about 390 bushel. 
Not bad. So I was talking to some of the people down in town and um, just keeping an eye on the, you know, the local ads, the one ads and whatnot, the for sales. I'm uh, hoping to find some cattle, you know, dairy cows, even uh, some beef cows possibly. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, diving right in. Got this stuff that we had to harvest. The field was ready. Uh, we got the, I think that's sorghum right there. That'll be ready soon. Then we have that cornfield back over by the house. Uh, should be relatively lucrative. Um, I am going to try to save as much as what I can. Just in case we have a hard winter. Because if we do find cows, I'm going to have to buy you know, TMR and everything for them. Um, just because we don't have anything. I need a baler. I want to bail up that straw that's out there. So I'm going to look at that, you know, here in the next day or two. But uh, with all that said, that's going to wrap up episode one here on Upper Mississippi River Valley. Uh, you guys... Thank you again so much for your understanding. Um, I, I absolutely adore this community more than words can really say. Um, this is going to be a really fun series. I'm looking forward to it and I hope you are as well. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you drop that like, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I know this one was a bit of a rough episode. I will be the first to acknowledge and to own that. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where you learn by doing. I'm actually going to park this over here. You know, we'll make some adjustments, uh, get things ready. And I think, you know, the next couple episodes will be, will be better. So, uh, until next time. I hope you all have a fantastic day and uh, I hope you, uh, you stay well. All right, later.